Welcome back, class. Today we'll be talking about one of the most influential Christian denominations in American history. According to course guidelines, historians must be objective and honest in their investigations. Even though I am a Catholic, I personally believe that the African Methodist Episcopal Church has had the most influence on American history and American society. The AME Church was founded by Absalom Jones and Richard Allen in Pennsylvania in 1816. The catalyst for the founding of the AME Church was the segregation of participants within that church. Jones and Allen would become angered by the substandard treatment of people whom they believed were equal under God's eyes. After an instance where they were asked to sit towards the back of the congregation, they made the conscious decision to gather up their fellow African American parishioners and begin worshiping that same God but under a new roof. As former slaves, Jones and Allens knew the atrocities being committed by their white counterparts and preached equality as well as abolition. The history of the African Methodist Church is not as important as its impact on American society. Contrary to its name, the African Methodist Episcopal Church was established in America but aimed at welcoming those of African descent. The only difference between the African Methodist Episcopal Church and the Methodist Church was the color of its member skin. They preached the same principles, held the same beliefs, and worshipped the same God. The AME Church would be the first black church experiment in the United States as a response to slavery and oppression of African Americans. This split would start a domino effect across America, with freed blacks starting their own organizations and groups to include other church denominations. The empowerment felt by members of the AME Church would be second to none. They now had a black preacher teaching the gospel in a way that related directly to their lives. The AME Church would play a vital role in the abolition movement by serving as a gathering house for those seeking to take public action, as well as service stops within the Underground Railroad system. Famous sermons used by the AME Church to gather up support for their movement include God, God is a Negro by Bishop Harry McNeil Turner, which shocked both black and white parishioners into seeking out religious consistencies, and I Seek My Brethren by Theophilus G. Stewart, which became a common call to evangelize African Americans in Georgia, Florida, Alabama, and Texas. These sermons were given in Confederate states with the permission of the Union Army in order to call Southern slaves into action against the slave-holding Confederacy. They would amass a membership of over 400,000 strong by 1880 because of their efforts south of the Mason-Dixon line. The Miami Church would also play a vital role during the Civil Rights era, serving as a leading organization in the reformation of civil society when segregated blacks needed it the most. The AME Church continues to stand the test of time by practicing Methodism in a more inclusive manner for the modern-day African American. They are the emphasizers of black figures as well as leaders in the modern-day civil rights and inequality movements. All in all, the African Methodist Episcopal Church could be considered one of the most influential American-born institutions in this country. Thank you for listening, and until next time.